Coming up in this video, we're eating at 7 amazing restaurants in the coastal region of La Union. We're going to restaurants with the best panoramic views, all the most romantic dining destinations, discover quirky restaurants with a lot of character, and the best seaside culinary experiences La Union has to offer. Of course, not only are we going to show you these picture-perfect restaurants, but we'll also give you a full review of their best sellers on their menu. Wow. So come with me and let's find out if these restaurants serve food that's as delicious as their views. First on our list, Viewpoint Grill and Restaurant. When most people think about La Union, the first thing that comes to mind is the beach. It's easy to overlook that the city of San Fernando is surrounded by breathtaking mountain ranges. Barangay Baxil, San Fernando is located atop a winding road on the eastern part of the city and it's the perfect location to get the full view of this coastal capital of the La Union region. So we've come to visit this restaurant in Barangay Baxil that showcases this spectacular view and try out their famous Filipino cuisine. The menu at Viewpoint Grill Restaurant focuses on family-style Filipino dishes. For a plate that serves 2 to 3 people, you're looking at an average price of 100 pesos per person for a meat-based platter. They also have a variety of soups and noodles, vegetable-based dishes, and grilled meat selections. They serve a fair assortment of drinks from milk tea to fresh coconut juice to local beer brands. So, is the food as good as their view? Their scrumptious pork binagkoongan was pretty satisfying. Combined with the view of the San Fernando port and the urban landscape on the coast, this restaurant is a must-visit for groups looking for affordable meals and great views. Next on the list is a sunset dining experience at a rustic riverside cafe. So we're here at Cafe by the River, a new and trending cafe in Bawang La Union. So they have two spots here, one here at the backside and one at the river. It's very straightforward, Cafe by the River. Let's check the ambience, let's check the food and let's see what's inside. Let's go! When the tides are low during the dry season in the Philippines, charming pop-up restaurants like Cafe by the River offer scenic views next to refreshing flowing waters. With an American diner-inspired menu, visitors at Cafe by the River are limited to burgers, fries, and chicken wings with rice for food options. But for a cafe, there's actual more food variety than what most cafes would have available. For drinks, there's no shortage of all kinds of caffeinated concoctions. They also have a selection of fruit teas. Their food and drink prices are between 100 pesos to 250 pesos. So we just ordered the food and we're going to the spot. At Cafe by the River, you can expect humble menu options. But even though the food and drinks won't blow your mind, nothing beats the gorgeous rustic ambiance and the breathtaking sunset view. Coming up later, we're visiting the most popular restaurants with spectacular beach views. But which one of these restaurants have the best food and customer service? But before we go to San Fernando, we're going to stop over here in Bawang at Shano Umok Gallery Cafe. It's an artist hub that features Filipino local artists and we're going to see some beautiful art. And of course, we're going to try their food and hopefully, it will spark some inspiration inside of me. So, let's check it out! Turning left onto a barangay road from the main highway in Bawang, Shano Umok Gallery Cafe blends in seamlessly with the surrounding residential neighborhood. But the cafe's modest frontage added to the charm of this artistic diner. Its homely ambiance and all the classic Ilocano comfort food on their menu create a nostalgic atmosphere like going to visit your grandparents. Warm, cozy, and welcoming. We ordered their best sellers, Halo Halo and Shano Umok Ilocano style pansit. Let's get a little bit of egg noodles and the crispy pork on top.
Sarap. After this, we'll try to order their bestseller, Halo Halo, which means mix mix in English. It has two scoops of ice cream, two or three. Well, I hope I won't be diabetic after this. <laughs> Mm. What I like about this is the ingredients are very fresh. It wasn't just the art on the walls of the gallery that showed creativity. You can see the thought and design in all the structures that make up the cafe. Every nook in the cafe celebrates local art, Ilocano history, and Filipino culture. That's why visiting Shano Umu Gallery Cafe is filling not just for the stomach, but also for your artistic soul. So now, let's go to San Fernando where we'll go to the two most popular restaurants by the beach. And let's see if the views shown on their social media are as beautiful in person as they are online. And of course, let's taste if their food is actually worth the visit. So we are here at Sunset Bay where we are going to order their best seller, T-Bone and Pancit Carbonara. Sunset Bay is an established resort on the coast of San Fernando La Union. Its casual dining restaurant is known to serve western-style cuisine from Italian to French to American classics. There are also some of your typical Filipino dishes on the menu and a good selection of drinks and cocktails from the bar. We ordered the best-seller T-Bone Steak priced at 735 pesos their carbonara which was priced somewhere around 400 pesos. We also ordered a cocktail that cost around 250 pesos. With a ballooning bill, we're hoping it's worth every peso spent. We were glad to spend lunch at the restaurant at Sunset Bay Resort. The place was clean, their gardens were well kept, and the white sand beach was great. If you'd like to impress your date with the fancy dining experience by the beach, then consider going to the elegant Sunset Bay Resort restaurant. So right now, we're at Natal na Grill, one of San Fernando's restaurants with a beach view. We're going inside to take a look around and order the best seller, and let's see if it's worth it. So, let's go! Natal na Grill has an all-Filipino menu with the best sellers being their grilled meats. They also have a great bar menu with their classic cocktails. The Tequila Sunrise was our favorite. On this trip, we had fish sinigang and pork liempo. And our experience was so great that we went back later for a second meal and the pork ribs were just as delicious. So if you're looking for somewhere peaceful to sit and watch the sunset over a glistening ocean, the Talna Grill is just the right spot to enjoy a refreshing drink and a great food at a very affordable price. Up next on our most beautiful restaurants in La Union is the Farm Ago. This country-inspired restaurant is a must-see for those who love a sure Instagrammable destination. Butter chip has arrived. It's 290 pesos per order, and according to their staff, it serves two to three people. Let's try the shrimp. One thing I don't like about this dish is the shrimp was not the shell. I have the urge to use my hands, but we're in a fancy cafe, so. <laughs> my favorite part of the shrimp is the head. Let's try the head. Mmm, it's really juicy.
It's obvious that every corner of this restaurant has been carefully designed to fit the rustic country theme. Anyone who visits this cafe definitely won't run out of spaces to explore and photograph. With the pleasant food and the friendly professional staff, it was all in all a fun visit to the farm. We are now in Luna La Union, where we'll find a restaurant full of quirky items. Let's check it out! Don Segundo's House of Antiques and Restaurant is exactly what you think it is. The restaurant feels like a private home whose owner wanted to showcase his private collection of various knickknacks from all the different past decades. These items are displayed all over the alfresco dining area, separating spaces by eras. The menu at Don Segundo's House of Antiques is moderately priced for family-style servings. They serve mostly Filipino food that are commonly served in parties. We ordered their best-seller kare-kare, sweet and sour chicken, and dinakdakan. The quick service at this restaurant was well-timed for our very hungry stomachs. Don Segundo's sharing platters are great for big groups, which explains where there were two events going on while we were there. So if you ever make a stop in Balawan La Union, you can expect Don Segundo's House of Antiques and Restaurant to cater to your party cravings. So that's it! 7 most beautiful restaurants in La Union and an honest menu and food review for each of them. Now you know which ones are our favorites and which ones look great and taste great. Which one on our list would you like to visit? Let us know in the comments! If you want all the details for the different spots we visited in this video, we posted ultimate travel guides per location on our channel. So share this video with your friends to make your next trip exciting. Or better yet, subscribe to our channel.